Hello, book lover, and welcome to today's episode of Beautiful Books, which is a guide to collecting the Penguin Deluxe Classics series. I know I often review a lot of more expensive hardback books on this channel, but I do like to also call out more affordable editions as well, and this is one series that I have many books from on my own shelves. Now, there are well over a hundred titles in this series, so what I'm going to do is just talk a little bit about the series while I show you all the covers in order of production, because I quite enjoy seeing how the designs have progressed over the years. For some of my favourite designs, I'll do a bit of a close-up, but if you're interested in any of the titles, I have made a complete list of all the books that I put on my website, which I'll link below. And this is where I've added in other important details, like who wrote the introduction, which translations used, who's the cover artist, etc, etc. And I thought I might even add a bit of a game to this video, which you can play along with, even if you're not an avid collector. So, see if you can guess which titles have been the best sellers, which titles have different covers depending on whether you buy them in England or America, which authors have the highest number of their books represented in the series, and which book has been published with a record number of three different covers in the same series. And then you can see if you're right as you watch the video. So this paperback series of deluxe editions includes many, many world classics, and each volume features wraparound cover art by renowned comic artists, illustrators, and graphic novelists. Like most paperbacks, the volumes are glue bound, but this is one of the rare paperback series for which Penguin actually do use acid-free paper. All of the books in the series are very nicely presented with matte paper covers made of a lovely dense card and wraparound art on the French flaps, so it looks like a bit of a mini dust jacket. And they also have deckled page edges, which some people love and some people don't. Penguin usually make use of excellent up-to-date translations for the books in this series, and the volumes typically include extremely valuable notes and introductions by distinguished scholars and contemporary authors. The books follow a mostly cohesive size and presentation structure, and the series overall seems to be primarily under the design direction of Paul Buckley. But there are lots of variations and different interpretations of the series design brief by the different artists, which makes for a really fun collection. There are several sub-series within the collection as well, such as the Graham Green Anniversary Centennials, the Couture Collection by fashion illustrator Ruben Toledo, the Penguin Threads Children's Classics, and the Graphic Deluxe Edition titles, which feature covers by renowned comic artists. Now, I have a lot of the fine press editions of classics already in my library, but I do find these paperbacks useful editions as well because of their affordability, the great notes, and how easily portable, lendable, and annotatable they are. Sometimes you not only get different cover designs for different countries, but also even different experts write the scholarly notes depending on which country it was printed in, which I have to say rather surprised me. Because the series features such well-known classics, the cover illustrators have been able to seize a creative freedom and break the conventional rules of cover art design. This is one of the reasons that the covers for this series are so striking. The artwork choices include bold and dramatic interpretations, as well as simple but coy designs. Being Penguin publications, the titles do skew heavily to your typical English classics, but there are also classic volumes from other cultures featured, and the translations chosen are always top-notch. There are sure to be a few titles in the collection that you haven't yet read. The comic book cover designs in this collection are quite an arresting contemporary interpretation of the classics, and I think they do an incredible job of reminding the reader that some of the works that we now consider classics were considered trashy or humorous or perfectly relatable or even completely outrageous at the time they were first published. The pairing of comic artists with the contents has obviously been done with great care, and the cover art style complements the novels brilliantly. I'm going to go quiet for a few minutes now while you just enjoy the art, but naturally I'll keep popping back in with comments as we go.
So I want to call out this group of novels here, which is known as the Couture Collection. It's a set of iconic novels that were dressed, as it were, in watercolour, pencil or ink by acclaimed Cuban fashion illustrator Ruben Toledo. These books were released in 2009 and 2010. I love the slyness of the characters' faces, and I think the covers managed to capture both the period feel of the novels as well as a modern haute couture vibe. Ruben has said that he hadn't read the novels before the cover assignment, so he came to them fresh and visualised them as animated movies in his head as he was reading. He then created these beautiful, evocative, abstract images in order to create a cover that draws in readers across different generations. The cover for the Kama Sutra is very much not safe for work, not at all what you'd expect on a typical Penguin novel, and the illustrator actually created an entire alphabet to go with this one. This is another collection that I want to highlight, the Penguin Threads collection. The books in this collection are romantic and child-friendly classics that feature cover art that was originally hand-stitched using needle and thread, then sculpt embossed on both front and inside covers for a textured tactile reading experience. I've included a few images of both inside and outside covers because they're really cool. The first three covers were by Gillian Tamaki and the second three are by Rachel Sumter. Okay, we're getting close to the end. How did you go with your guesses? The best sellers have been the Penguin Threads and the Couture Collection that I highlighted earlier. In fact, the Penguin Threads, Emma and Picture of Dorian Gray from the Couture Collection are both currently out of print. The titles that have different covers and introductory notes depending on whether you buy them in the US or the UK are Sense and Sensibility and Persuasion by Jane Austen, as well as Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Super annoyingly and irresponsibly, they have the same ISBN, so you really have to be careful when purchasing if you're doing it online if you're after a particular cover. The book that has had three covers is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. But American readers have to be a little careful here because in the UK, publication of Little Women was split over two volumes, and so British editions of the first part, which is called Little Women, may seem incomplete to you. And the final question, which was, 
Which authors have the highest number of their books represented in the series? That has a few different answers. Jane Austen is always a good guess here. And if you consider the fact that the Penguin Deluxe Classics includes a volume called The Complete Jane Austen, you could say they've published all seven titles. But strictly speaking, there have only been four individual volumes, plus the omnibus, giving you a total of five books. The Graham Greene Centennial Collection, published early on in 2004, actually features six of his novels. But in fact, on track to beat them all is Proust. In addition to his collected poems, we also have his seven-volume masterpiece In Search of Lost Time. However, this collection features a completely new translation, and so far only five volumes have been published starting in 2004, meaning he is presently still tied with Graham Greene for the number of books. However, the sixth volume is due in January 2021, and we also have the seventh volume to follow at a later date. But I'm happy to call you a winner if you picked any of those three authors. There are also a couple of fun new volumes due out shortly, and I'll add these to the end of the reel. I hope you enjoyed this trip through all the covers in the series. I really think it's such an interesting collection of designs. I'm sure there are one or two cover designs that tickle your fancy, and I'd love for you to share them in the comments. There's also a really interesting volume that delves into the cover design of this series and several others called Penguin Classics Cover to Cover, which I really enjoyed reading and can recommend if you like that sort of thing. As I mentioned earlier, I'll link below to my list of ISBNs and other details because there's too many to fit them all in the description box. Please do hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you're new to the channel, double tap the bell and subscribe if you want to be notified about any of my future videos. The Christmas collection is coming up soon. Till next time, bye. Please do hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you're new to the channel, double tap the bell and subscribe if you want to be notified about my future videos. My annual best of year review is coming up soon and that's always a lot of fun. Till next time, bye.